Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at part three of my overclocking guide and specifically the tools that I use for stress testing the CPU. Okay, so whether you have an Intel or an AMD, again, careful what you're doing. Make sure you have enough cooling in your PC. So get an aftermarket uh, CPU cooler, a good one. Make sure you've got enough airflow coming in and out of your case to keep uh, the case uh, cool. And know your limits, right? Check uh, the uh, voltages, check the uh, temperature readings, as I mentioned in my part two video. Now, I've got a couple of tools here that I use. Um, and one of them that you've seen most common in all my CPU videos that I've reviewed is CPU-Z, right? That just tells me what's the status of the, um, of the CPU. Speed fan is good to check the uh, temperature and the fan speeds. Prime 95, which I just opened here, runs the torture tests, and I usually use the blend option, okay, because that one tests everything. So number of tests, uh, threads to run, four, because I got four cores, and uh, there it is, running all four cores at 100%. You want to monitor that, make sure that you're not getting any errors. If you get errors and you want to stop, and then go and maybe increase the voltage a teeny bit, change the memory settings, um, like I mentioned in my previous uh, overclocking videos. Another tool that you can use as a backup is the Orthos tool. This one here is very similar to Prime95. I prefer Prime95. This one here uh, basically does the same thing. Okay, so if Prime95 is not working out for you for some reason, then uh, there's the Orthos. And both of those are free. Okay, so these are free downloads. I'll give you the links to the uh, download pages at the end of the video. Okay, and um, basically, Another tool that I've used for AMD CPUs is the uh, AMD Overdrive utility. Okay, so that's game.amd.com, and they have a similar um, a similar tool that does benchmarking and stress testing on the CPU. But uh, Prime95 does a really good job. So if anything, I prefer that you guys download Prime95. Now Everest is another tool that I've used not just for stress testing but also for benchmarking. Okay, so it has benchmarks in there as well. But we're not reviewing benchmarks today. We're just looking at the tools for uh, testing the stability of your machine. So Everest has a combination of stress tests that it runs, and you can monitor, obviously, your temperature at the same time that it's running uh, the CPU at full load and so forth. So not a bad uh, utility. Of course, um, this one's not free. It does have a trial uh, version that you can download, and it works fine, the trial version, but uh, certain things don't show. So um, you can try that if you want it. And uh, if you have an AMD CPU, definitely download the uh, AMD Overdrive utility, which is free from AMD, and run the um, stress testing from that tool as well, uh, if you don't like the um, Prime 95, okay? Now, once you're running your stress test, at the same time, whichever tool you want to run the stress test against, um, in this case, in this example, I've got Prime 95 running for a while, no errors, you should be monitoring the temperatures. So open up core temp, open up speed fan, it doesn't matter, you can have both of them open. Monitor the temperatures, know your limits, make sure that you um, don't go over the uh, maximum voltages that your CPU supports, right? So my second part two video that I did already, I mentioned where you can get information about what your CPU specs are. So um, monitor that, and if you see that it's going over the limit, then stop it, right? Because obviously your cooling is not sufficient for, for the amount of overclocking that you've done, right? Maybe uh, your fan needs to be running a little bit faster. So little, little adjustments that you need to do uh, to your system if you see that it's overheating, okay? So use these tools to figure that out. Now, uh, the download URLs, here they are, and you can click on them also. I'll put them on the side of the video so you can click on the uh, descriptions as well okay so there's uh, in a nutshell what I'm using to do my stress testing and I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching